Hey, on the channel from Star Wars Episode One, the Famba. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for a Star Wars unboxing and review of Massive Proportions. As today from Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, we've got the FAMBA, the FAO Schwartz exclusive. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. Yes, the FAMBA, FAO Schwartz exclusive from way back in the day. A very hard to find piece after all these years. Probably one of the most rare Phantom Menace era vehicles creatures, whatever you want to call it, of all time, and the biggest creature of all time. We've got the Rancors over the years. This is pretty big, though. As you can see down here, we got a 3 and 3 Force Gungan Warrior uh, right there in the package with this one. So this is a pretty special one, a pretty cool one out there. I can't wait to dive in, I guess, like we always do. But we're going to do like we always really do on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. So let's take a look at the FAMBA. I think I'm pronouncing that right, if I remember correctly. But look how big this is. We got Star Wars Episode 1 up in the corner, Darth Maul looking over the proceedings. We got a little action shot of the toy down below. The FAMBA, a big lizard, looking like a dinosaur, really, at this point. I love the background behind this, kind of setting the scene of the greenery and all that kind of fun stuff. We got a Gungan Warrior in the package. We got the saddle, all that kind of fun stuff. Window box on the top, showing a little bit of the playability of this one. A little glamour shot of the toy on the side there so you know what you're getting. Same thing on the other side right there. And a lot of the same down below, of course. What's it say up here? Ages 4 and up. The Famba with Shield Generator and Gungan Warrior. Man, oh man. This is a big one. It's like a big dinosaur. Uh, there's the back of the package. Another glamour shot. We got a blur. We got the cross cell down below. 20 Jedi Master Points. I feel like we got gypped on the Jedi Master Points here. I think this should be like a 50 or 100 Jedi Master Points. If a single figure is 10, why is this 20? Come on, what are we doing here? But there you go. You can see all that. Let me read the back, see what it says. Oh my gosh, heavy. Gungan Shield Generator. Let's see. Giant swamp lizards called Fambas are key to Gungan defense on the battlefield. Working in pairs, the forward Fambas apparatus fires energy into the receiver mounted on the rear beast, creating a bubble-like shield that unites with other Famba shields to form an enormous canopy of protection over the Grand Army. So very interesting there. Like a lot of Power of the Force Phantom Menace figures, it has that old real feel. We got the Bantha back in the day that had real feel, the Rancor with real feel. Well, the is the same thing. You got a little hole in here. It's supposed to feel like, what's it say? It feels like a real Famba, I think. Uh, real feel skin. So it has real feel skin. This feels absolutely nothing like skin. I feel no skin here. I feel a hard plastic is what I feel. So I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe this thing has hardened over the years. That pipe quite possibly could have happened. Uh, but we do know this is a big, big creature. I can't wait to get this out of the package. A million twist ties, as you can imagine, with this heavy of a vehicle. So I'm going to unbox it off screen, and we'll be right back, and we'll talk about the FAMBA. All right, we're out of the package. We've got this big Famba ready to go, but we got some accessories and some pamphlets and stuff. So let's take a look at this. We got a little uh, business reply mail, Kenner Products. How about that handwriting or handwriting font, I guess I should say. That font brings you back to the 90s, doesn't it? How do you like it? They're looking for uh, answers. What do you think? Is it fun? How would you rate this product? What influenced you to buy this? All those kind of fun things. But see you later. That came in there. Then we got one of those big packets. You guys know I love these packets that show other Kenner items that are for sale. But this one specifically is all Star Wars. So great as a checklist. Great something to give your parents, your grandparents back in the day. Say, hey, I want this. I'm going to circle the ones I want. Very cool there. But we did have some travesties. We did have some disappointments. We had some honestly hot garbage opening this thing up. As when I got into it, I saw this was broken inside the package. So the long scepter here. Uh, unfortunately, the ball is broken off of this one. Very disappointing. Very heartbreaking here. I guess I'll super glue it, but that just sucks. But that is, you know, 20 some years. I guess the plastic disintegrating, breaking off, and that's exactly what happened here. So unfortunate there. We did get a Gungan Warrior. 
I do love that. We got another Gungan Warrior. You can never have enough Gungans, if you ask me. So we did get an exclusive Gungan Warrior figure that came with this. So that is pretty cool. Obviously, his weapon uh, scepter is broken there. And he's got a little bit of that sticky disease that we just love so much. We, nothing like a sticky Gungan. Everybody loves a sticky Gungan, I think. Don't we, at the end of the day? I don't know. Uh, but we did get a Gungan. So he, he's all right. We're used to the power of the Force style articulation. I just like that he's a little bit different. I did have this sitting here right there, a Gungan Warrior. Power of the Jedi figure. I figured, heck, why not? We'll open him right up. Let's add him to the collection. See you later. Comes with the Jedi Force file card. See you later off screen there. See how many times I can hit the screen here. Can I, can I keep hitting it? See you later. Oh, right there. There it is. Plastic Prison, Gungan Warrior. We're adding to the collection here. And he's locked in. What the heck? Locked in. Locked in with a twist tie on a Gungan. I, I never thought I'd see a day. There he is. He's free. See you later. Off the screen again. Three for three. Uh, how do these compare here? So very similar, but a little bit different. Different bends, totally different head going on. Actually, totally different figures for the most part. So I like that a whole lot. Uh, who's this guy's friend, though? I can't remember. Did we did we go through that back in the day on our Gungan reveal? Uh, allies and enemies. Any guesses? Number one ally of a Gungan warrior, Boss Nass. Then Captain Panaka, stealing our hearts. Queen Amidalia, then Qui-Gon Jinn. Uh, poor Jar Jar not on the ally list of a Gungan warrior. He does not want him having his back in battle. Uh, enemies, the Nemeodians, uh, OOM9, Destroyer Droids, and Opie the Sea Killer. Of course, nobody likes to be eaten by a Sea Killer out there. But I do miss those Jedi file cards. I always love those things. So we got some Gungans out here. We got some Gungan warriors ready to go. Let's see the Famba, though. Let's get down to the Famba. Look how big this guy is. This is a big, big big creature uh, i like it though it's gonna look good we have some of those other uh, gungan armies gungan soldiers here you can kind of build around that and you know you got your gungan battle ready to go big saddle up top here as you guys saw in the package just very very cool uh quite the beast there look at the face on this guy a face only a gungan could love really uh famba very uh, brontosaurus-esque is what i think of when i think of this thing just feels like plastic to me. I'm not sure where they get off with the old real skill, skin feel here. Unless it's just kind of disintegrated over time, which I would not be shocked at at all. Uh, the Gungan Warrior does fit up here in the basket. He can ride this guy. I mean, this is a monster. This is a three and three-fourths figure right here. And look, at you can just see that size difference right here. That's a big, big difference in size. Massive, massive creature. I love it. Let's have this thing square off against a Rancor. Huh? There you go. But this Famba was on my long to-do list for a long, long time. I don't know. I probably got this eight months ago. Just getting around to unboxing it now. I had finally found it on Mercari for a decent price. I mean, it was maybe $70 ship. With as big of a box this is, it's pretty expensive to ship. So I feel like I got a deal, and this does not come up very often. And a lot of people, I think, forgot this thing even existed. Being an FAO Schwartz exclusive, uh, for me, there was no FAO Schwartz in my state, so I never even had access to this uh, Famba creature. Uh, some of you guys probably in bigger cities out there maybe did, but there was no F.A. Schwartz, so I didn't even know this thing was uh, in existence until, I don't know, a year ago or so when I started delving into some of this stuff and playing some catch-up after all these years. Uh, so I do think this is pretty solid. Uh, not the easiest to find out there, but can you just imagine a big shelf with like three or four of these, a bunch of Gungans? I mean, you could build out quite the army if you wanted to. Uh, but a lot going on here. Not a lot of features to this guy. Uh, he does got his little horn things. Horn things, plastic horns on him that give the reins to the Gungans. So you get a big string here and you can have the Gungans holding him by the reins and all that. Uh, you do get this top little basket that the Gungans can sit in. It does have turn to it. There's no articulation on the fan, but you can't move him around. There's nothing you can do to him. But he's just a big imposing creature that's going to stare down the enemy. Uh, and good on your shelf display. So that's where he's going to sit and that's where he's going to be. So there it is, the FAMBA, FAO Schwartz exclusive, Star Wars Phantom Menace Episode 1. I'd be curious to know out there in YouTube land, did you ever own this? Did you ever see this back in the day, your FAO Schwartz? Like I said, flew totally under my radar until just about in the last year. So let me know your thoughts. Maybe you even had this back in the day. Did it feel like real skin way back in the day? That'd be another good question out there. So let me know in the comments. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. So for the FAMBA and Gungans everywhere, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.